everybody and welcome to your next C-Sharp X8 platform tutorial. Before we even start, go to your title screen.cs and delete this right here. I just commented it out before the video, uh, but we want to delete that um, right there. Uh, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to uh, create our entity class. And the entity class is going to be the base class for our player and our enemy classes and for any other type of entity entity you want in your program. Uh, for those of you who don't know what an entity in it, an entity is, it's like it's, it means it's a being or, or something or whatever, right? So we're gonna make this uh, we're gonna make this public. Uh, we'll include the framework. Okay, so uh, let's see um, some common things that each entity will need. So they'll need a health. Uh, they need uh, their move animation. Uh, their move speed. Uh, and for now, we'll leave it like that. And we'll have our virtual void. Uh, load content. And I guess we'll put an input manager. And from from the load content, we'll we'll create our own content manager. So we'll say uh, protected content manager content. This content. Is equal to uh. Sorry, sorry, I like, I forgot how to do this for a second. Uh, yes, new content manager. Sorry, I, I just never done C Sharp in, in a while. Uh, so what we're going to do is go back to entity class and we're going to say this content is equal to new content manager. Content dot service provider. And we will put content in there. Okay, so we got our content set up, and oh, well, I guess we'll put in a file manager. Okay, so this is gonna be the the base stuff that we load in, and by default, I guess no, the file manager will load in on um, the stuff here, but we'll use a content manager just to. Uh, We'll use a load content method in order to create our content manager. So we'll use virtual void unload content. Uh, and we'll just say content dot unload. And do virtual void update. Game time. And we'll have virtual void draw. Okay, so we got uh we loaded in our content manager. We have our unload content for update. We don't have anything for the base of the update, and for drawing, we don't really have anything uh, uh set up right here. Uh, so we know that. For our animation, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a new type of animation. Because right now, all we have is a fade animation. But we need to make a, a, a new animation class which handles sprite sheet animation. Because we're going to be cropping out uh, the player images from a, um, a sprite sheet. And from that, then we can call the move animation in the update uh, in the update method, right? Like so, right? And we can draw it like so. We can call it. But... Depending on the images, dimensions, and stuff like that, um, everything's gonna be different. But uh, we got uh, we got the general stuff set up. So uh, as well as uh, it's kind of hard to move on with the entity class because uh, we don't got the animation and stuff class set up. Uh, but from there, what we're gonna do is quickly, briefly, just create our player class and our enemy class. Uh, so we'll call this player 
derives from entity and we'll just override override the function right now so override and before I even do that okay so we got our our, our namespaces in so we say load content uh, unload content Uh, we have update and last but not least we have draw So we're just gonna just copy this right here Create a new class called enemy or whatever you like to call it Derive from the entity class uh, We just have to paste it in here include our namespaces Okay, so we got our framework set up for the player class, uh, the enemy class, uh, and the entity class. Now, before this tutorial ends, uh, what we're going to do is just quickly create a gameplay screen. And I guess I'll make this capital, you know. Okay, so we got to set up our gameplay screen. And we will, I believe these are the right overrides. I believe they're the same. Yeah, so they are the same overrides. So we got our gameplay screen. And, and such setup. So, uh, what we're just gonna do right now is just go to our menus. Dot CME. Uh, changes the gameplay screen. Make sure you spell it correctly. Just run this, and nothing's gonna show up on our gameplay screen. But we just want to make sure that it actually uh, transfers to that. So when we press new game. Okay, so we get a blank screen, so it transfers to the gameplay screen um, effectively. So in the next tutorial, uh, we will work on the uh, the sprite sheet animation class, and then from there we'll uh, look on developing the player the player class. So we, we basically got the framework set up, and uh, then we're gonna go more in depth in the f um, following tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.